see the story that came out of Louisiana, right? Don't forget this story. Don't you ever forget this story. And for those of, you know, who follow this channel and say I'm too hard on white Christians and I, you know, you shouldn't blame a whole religion of people for something that a few did. Didn't y'all do that to the Muslims? Didn't you do that shit to the Muslims? Didn't you blame a whole entire religion for something that a few people did? Didn't Donald Trump, when he became president, start a Muslim ban for something that a few did? Stop giving it and you won't get it. Don't forget this story. Don't forget this shit. That evil ass white Christians in Louisiana, who I think are the worst white Christians in the entire fucking country. If you take all of the Christians in the whole fucking country, Louisiana is the Taliban. We are the fucking Taliban. We are ISIS when it comes to white Christians, right? Forced a woman to carry, a, they, wanted, they wanted to, they attempted to. Thank God they, were, they wasn't successful. God defeated the white Christians, right? And she was able to terminate a pregnancy of a baby who didn't have a skull. Read the headline. Read this shit. Louisiana woman, Karen, right? A viable fetus forced to travel to New York for an abortion. See, this is why I say you have to stay the fuck away from white Christians. You don't want them involved in shit. You don't want them over shit. You don't want their values to ever, you don't, the, the, the shitty fucking values they have in a shitty ass hands, right? To ever touch your government. Because don't forget, it was the white Christians that went into the Capitol, shit it in their hands and smeared it on the wall. That was white, white Christians did that shit, right? You don't want their shitty hands touching any aspect of government. You don't want them touching any aspect of your municipality, okay? This is a group that should be quarantined indefinitely from our society. Why? Because they fucked up. Because what they believe is fucked up, what they think is fucked up, how they think is fucked up. It's it's group think to the it's extreme. White Christians have the inability to think as individuals. And the more of them that come together, the more group thinks group think kicks in. How do you think so many of us got lynched? How do you think that happened? Who do you think lynched us? It was white Christians. It was the same, it was the grandchildren of the motherfuckers that you work with now and you go to school with now. And you you know, it was those, it was that group, right? Some of you dating and some of you have married. It was that group. Okay? The the group that's walking around right now, their grandparents were the lynchers. You don't believe me? Read a book. Read a book. Read any book that cover that covers a topic. Just don't read a textbook that your child is learning from. You know why? Because white Christians have taken control of what your African child is learning about his own race. So why am I so hard on these motherfuckers? Because everybody should be. See, racism is not an everybody problem. Stop saying that we all just need to get along and we all just need to love one another. And we all, that's not an everybody problem because everybody don't have this, this, this problem that white Christians have. We don't have a problem with loving. It's the white Christians that have a problem with loving. We don't have a problem with compassion. It's the white Christians that have a problem with compassion. Guess what? We don't have a problem with tolerance. It's the white fucking Christians who have a problem with tolerance. Anything that they cannot control, anything that they cannot manipulate, anything that they cannot dominate, anything that they cannot force their will upon, anything that they cannot fucking corrupt or misuse or abuse, they are opposed to it and they work the sprockets of government to make sure they get their way. And right now, these motherfuckers are getting their way. They're forced this abortion ban on us after they have had abortions. 
And that's the, you want to know the real fucked up aspect about white Christians is all of them have had abortions. So after they have fucked all throughout the 80s, have fucked everybody at Southern University, now they want to have an abortion ban. White girls at LSU was fucking everybody at Southern, but now they want to have an abortion ban. Don't trust shit that white Christians say. If their lips are moving, it's a fucking lie. Okay? These bitches are evil. These are your Trump supporters. These are these are your authoritarians. These are your this when you start to notice the stench of Nazism surfacing, it was white Christians. You know why? Because that shit was familiar to them. What people don't realize about Adolf Hitler is Adolf Hitler was a German Christian. He he Hey, he wasn't a Muslim. He wasn't Hindu. He wasn't Buddhist. He wasn't Buddhist. He was a Christian. He was a motherfucking Christian. Slave owners were Christians. See, here's the greatest indictment against Christianity is that there isn't a scripture in that Bible that has healed the hearts of white people. Not a single scripture in that book has cured the hatred of these motherfuckers. That's why they go into elementary school and they shoot up children. That's why they go into gay bars. Gay, gay people don't fuck with nobody. Gay people don't bother nobody. If, if, if mind your business was a person, it would be a fucking gay person. It would be a gay people. You know why they mind their business? They stay to their own community. They don't fuck with people. They don't seek out people. They don't bully people. It is the white Christians who fuck with them. That's why they go into bars and clubs where these, where these people are enjoying themselves and living their motherfucking lives and they kill them. You know why? Because it's white Christians. These bitches are evil. And they force this young lady, they force Davis to travel all the way to New York to abort a baby that didn't have a skull. The baby didn't have a fucking skull. How cruel are you? How cruel is your religion to require a woman to have a baby who didn't have a fucking skull? They say, well, God didn't make mistakes. Well, motherfucker, you are a mistake. You are a mistake, Mr. White Christian, Mrs. White Christian. And God made your fucking ass.